Hello and welcome to Stage Light Tips and Tricks. In today's installment, we're going to be working with automation. Automation is a great way to breathe life into your songs, from basic mixing tasks like volume fades and rises to complex filter and effects changes. Stage Light has two levels of automation pattern automation and track automation. With pattern automation, you'll be able to give each of your patterns in Loop Builder or Timeline its own automation curves. You can access the automation menu in the pattern editor. Double click on a pattern to open the editor. Once you're in the editor, you can find the automation menu here. For new patterns, select Add Automation. You'll have access to all of the basic track mixer parameters and the parameters for any instruments and effects that you have loaded on the track. Select a parameter to create an automation curve. The automation editor will overlay on top of your pattern. The bottom of this overlay will be the lowest possible value, and the top will be the highest possible value. Double click on any spot in the pattern to create an automation point. Once you've added an automation point, you can move it around the pattern by clicking and dragging. Holding down the shift key while creating an automation point will create a curved automation point. Curved automation points are great for volume adjustments as they create more natural sounding fades and rises. Curved automation points will appear as squares in the automation editor. You can exit the automation editor by clicking on the automation menu icon here. When you return to the automation menu, you will find options to edit and delete the automation curves that you've created. Timeline automation works exactly the same, but the curves are not tied to a pattern. They will affect all the patterns on the track. You'll find the track automation menu here. You'll also be able to edit the automation on the master track. This is great for creating traditional fade outs. Thank you for watching Stage Light Tips and Tricks. If you have any questions on creating automation or anything else, please open a support ticket at support.openlabs.com.